Election season is finally here, so we're going to have a different type of discussion on State of Play this week. We've invited Mary Bridget McManaman, a constitutional law professor at the Widener University Delaware Law School. Mary Bridget, thank you so much for being well, here. It's my pleasure, Shirley. Recently, you've received some attention for an op-ed <laughs> you wrote that was published in the Washington Post, and it's entitled, Ted Cruz is not eligible to be president. Now, just some background, Ted Cruz was born in Canada, his mother's a U.S. citizen, his father is not, um, but your argument is that Cruz is not a, quote, natural born citizen. Explain your argument here, and why, in your opinion, does he not Qualify. Sure. The Constitution requires three things for a person to be president. You have to be 35 years old, you have to live here for 14 years, and you have to be a natural born citizen. Mm -hmm. That's a term that comes from the old common law, which comes from England. And the Supreme Court says when there's a term in our Constitution from that law, you look to that law for the definition. And the definition is clear. You had to have been born in the territory of the sovereign to be natural born. And so by that definition, he was naturalized at birth. That's correct. Um, therefore making him ineligible. That's right. Now there were some researchers that published in the Harvard Law Review, the names, forgive me if I mispronounce them, Neil Katal and Paul Clement, they have an, a different interpretation yes. of natural born yeah. citizens. So what are they saying? They're basing their argument on actually some other secondary sources that were written in the 20th century that looked at some 18th century British statutes um, but they weren't adopted in the common law and they didn't come to America. So they're relying on inaccurate sources. So there was the whole birther movement with mm. President Obama. There were some eligibility issues with Senator John McCain when he ran for president. Um, now McCain was born in Panama, but why is your argument that you're raising with Ted Cruz different from the arguments that were raised with Obama and McCain? Well, first of all, Obama was born in Hawaii, so, right. so there's no issue. Um, with regard to McCain, he's another interesting wrinkle on this. Under common law, anyone born in a territory of England was also natural born. And so the argument would be that John McCain was born in what was then a territory of the United States. The problem is that the United States Supreme Court in the early 20th century was asked to say, were the children born in the Philippines and Cuba and Puerto Rico, which were our new territories, were they natural born? And the Supreme Court, in a series of horribly racist opinions, ruled that they were not because they were alien races. And so McCain's best argument, it never came to it, but right. McCain's best argument would have been those cases should have been overruled. He was born in a territory of the United States and therefore eligible. So then how come Ted Cruz, I mean, given that there, I'm sure there are people who agree 100% with you. Mm -hmm. Why is he still allowed to pursue this? And Or is there something else in the works where, um, you know, his run would be challenged. Well, I think it was, is, there are several suits out already, one mm -hmm. in Texas, I know, and one in Illinois. Um, I think that um, until a Secretary of State refuses to put him on a state ballot, I think he's just going to go forward as a practical matter. Okay. Uh, Utah Senator Orrin Hatch, he proposed a bill in 03, and what it would do is it would allow, to, allow a citizen who um, has been in the country for more than 20 years to run for president. So is it that easy to clarify this issue? Just, you know, get this law passed and, and clear it up? Well, my argument would be that no, that would be fine for a constitutional amendment, mm -hmm. um, but that Congress can't on its own simply amend the Constitution. It would have to go through the entire amendment process. And so you believe your interpretation is definitely the most accurate interpretation. Yes, besides, I don't, I don't know about you, but I know when I went to grade school, people were taught you have to be born in the US. Uh -huh. um, and I, that got confirmed by reading the, the, the old law. Um, Donald Trump, you know, the Republican <laughs> presidential candidate, he uh, says that the Democratic uh, says the Democratic Party will challenge Cruz's eligibility in court this fall. You know, is there enough of a legal precedent to do this? There isn't any precedent because no presidential candidate has ever had that kind of a challenge before. <laughs> right. um, there is precedent that of the definition of what a natural born citizen is. But I have to admit that the Supreme Court is a little bit unpredictable and I don't know for sure what would happen if it ever got that far. So be before now we have never had any sort of real um, challenge to this natural born citizen uh, Never th language. went far. I mean um, when George Romney was running in 68 there were some beginnings of talk of challenges but he dropped out of the race so quickly mm -hmm. um, and nobody as far as I know there weren't any serious challenges to John McCain so it's never gone further than trial court level. Would you consider yourself a birther? 
No, well, to me, a birther is somebody who has a political agenda or mm -hmm. some ulterior motive. I'm just a person who lives in an ivory tower, and I thought this was an interesting topic. I taught at, I, every, every summer I volunteer at Osher, the lifelong mm -hmm. learning at Delaware, and I just thought this was a topic that would be fun for my students. So I have no agenda. It was just a fun topic to research, and boy, it's suddenly become very relevant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Mary Bridget McManaman, very interesting. Uh, we are going to probably call on you again, should this ever uh, rear its head in court. Constitutional law professor at the Wider University Delaware Law School, Mary Bridget McManaman. Again, we will be calling on you again in the future. Well, I look forward to it. Thank you. <laughs>